Hello there everybody, it is me Feather Bunny and welcome to my overview slash first impressions on ghosts which are the new life state that you get with the Sims 4 update. Okay guys, so this is how it works. Um, pretty much if, if you start your origin account, you can have the option to update your game and if you do, the origin thing will automatically install ghosts and stuff like that and other things that come with ghosts as well which is freaking amazing and i'm really really excited you guys because we have had ghosts ever since the sims 2 and that was one feature that was really lacking from the sims 4 and i'm really really, really happy that we got them back for freaking free you guys not something that you would associate with ea anyway like i was saying you guys here's the thing um ghosts cannot be accessed um immediately from create a stem you have to basically this is what i did you have to pretty much go to the community via the, the sims 4 gallery and pretty much download some ghosts from there which is also very very interesting because we are actually going to be able to play ghosts from the get-go the second you download ghosts you're going to be able to play them unlike the sims 3 we had to wait a couple of expansion packs until Supernatural was released, but anyway, I just really really like ghosts you guys, but anyway So here's how you pretty much find the ghost that Maxis kind of likes or something. So basically um, You just go to click on this Maxis thing and you automatically get like a couple of ghost options from the get-go really really awesome i love these houses as well but anyway this is not like a house overview it is a freaking ghost overview and let's just click on the freaking creepy ghost which looks like princess leia from star wars if you I do say so myself oh my god and she has the freaking makeup though oh my god she's kind of creepy but I want her to, to replace my existing household, and um, I do want to see whether or not we can't- Oh my god, check her out. Her makeup, though, is not here, which is kind of weird, I don't know. Maybe it was for her formal wear or something like that, I totally don't know. But you guys can see that ghosts are absolutely, like, freely customizable and things like that. So her name is actually Amanda Ghost. Okay, and I do want to clone her, though. Can we not clone her and stuff like that? Okay, let's see here. Play with the genetics. You know, let's just add a new sim and oops, blah, 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 community, whatever. Yes. Oh my god, this is like a brand new tutorial or something. I don't know. Anyway, let me just download another ghost um, from Maxis, I guess. If they have like a male ghost, that would be so freaking awesome. Uh, households, I guess. We'll sort it by households. I love how there's like no male ghost from the get-go. I'm like, oh. I'm so sad though. Anyway, let's just get a clone of the other one. Let's just clone freaking Amanda and see whether or not we have the option to make her a male. I think this is her, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, that, that there we go. Let's also um, merge her with the household as well. It's like literally the exact same sim though, but whatever. Um, and I actually kind of want to delete her. Yeah. Okay, delete her. Anyway, so yes, like I was saying earlier, you guys can actually freely customize your sims. Um, if there are ghosts, you can customize them pretty much like how you would a normal sim in create a sim. So basically, you have the option to choose their aspirations and stuff. He will be just a clone of Amanda, so I'm just going to randomize his, his name. Clinton is okay for me. Reminds me of a grade school classmate that I have, but anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to so show you guys the level of customizability here. Literally, though, you guys, you can customize everything. Muscles, and then largeness of the ghosts, and of their body type, I guess, and and then also you can put whatever you want piece of clothing on them and it will automatic automatically show in this kind of spooky like smoky color which is really really interesting um, and I guess by default the ghosts are an interesting white color and I believe that with a different traits or something they have like they change color pretty much if they're feeling differently which we are gonna see once we get into the gameplay but i'm just gonna show you guys like some of the new hairstyle options that we have so we have this one hair over here which is actually okay so i guess she was originally bald or something i don't know but yes and then we also have this thing which actually came with um hat of shame i don't know where, where this thing came from but whatever we're just gonna keep her like that i do want to change her she looks like brunhilda or something i don't know I just, she, 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 she kind of does i do want to customize her a little bit just to make her my own oh my god okay never mind let me just remove her hat 
Okay, there we go. So you guys can see that you can really customize the ghost um, in, in a very detailed way, which is amazing. I feel like I'm, I'm going to keep her on that because I do want her to look like she is from the past, kind of. You know, she kind of died in the past and now she's kind of back to like haunt everyone or something like that. And she also looks freaking evil though, like yas. She, she just hates the freaking world, you guys, like yas. I hate everyone. It's probably like what's on her mind. Oh my god, literally though, she looks like she hates the whole freaking world, which is freaking hilarious, but uh, anyway, let's just put some lipstick on her. Okay, I guess that's fine. She's like, oh, can, can we please stop this? But anyway, and I also do want to change her everyday wear as well. Just really, really quickly put a nice little old type of outfit on her, I guess. Her body, though, look at her, she's so freaking sexy. Those curves. Um, but let's see here, let's just put a nice gown on her, I guess. I don't want her to wear a wedding gown, though, I'm not so sure. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any themed objects in The Sims 4, so I'm guessing I'm probably just going to put that on her. And then maybe actually just put on the accessories on our sim so let's just see literally though this is like create a sim ghost you guys Woo! um dangling earrings i guess would work and then these colors are probably freaking crazy though but who freaking cares because you really can't see them anyway okay let's just keep that on her and maybe even gloves you guys um i don't know i never put gloves on my normal sims but i think they would kind of work on ghosts you, you can barely see them, like, literally, though. But anyway, that works. I think you we're not even going to, you know, do anything with her feet and stuff like that. So, for him, just going to do exactly the same thing. Maybe put a... <gasps> Ooh, look at this. This is so cool. You guys, I love these. Oh, my God. Freaking going to be... A, I don't even know. <laughs> what... Ooh, look at this. This has actually a description. A shine on men's suit. Oh. And then this one, really, really cool. He has the cape and stuff like that. Oh, freaking awesome. You know what? Let's make her freaking Princess Leia, I guess. Um, just to be more cohesive, I guess, with what we have. I know, you guys. I'm, like, freaking all over the place. But I'm just going to make her that. And then just pretty much remove her accessories and all that good stuff. But because, yeah, just because. Makeup, accessories. I think we can keep her... Um, I guess we can keep her freaking makeup like that and then maybe put on the wig on her. Freaking indecisive, you guys, but I do want to have like a good foundation be before moving into, um, you know, real sim life, I guess. And then for him, maybe if we have some new hair options, yes, we do it. It's freaking Darth Vader, you guys. I'm like, yes, yes. And then, you know what? Why not to add another sim? You know, why not to add another sim? Yeah, let's make this a trio of ghosty sims, I guess. And then the other one can be also a male, but he's gonna wear the other outfit that was available for download as well. So let's go to Maxis. Literally, though, all of their bases are gonna be freaking Princess Leia. Like, seriously. She has, like, a tear on her eye, though. Like, how does that happen? super cool and super creepy as well okay let's just merge her with our existing family so she is amanda creepy ghost i'm like whoa and then let's see here you know what let's actually change okay let's change him or her it's gonna be a him in a second it's a him and really really interesting thing as well is that you can actually create ghosts in oh, different fuck. life states you can have them as a teen as a child pretty much like every other life state you can have in the sims 4 so that's freaking amazing you guys i'm just like yes yes please anyway let's make her a male of course and let's put like those masks mask things on him or something like i don't i I got that this is freaking Darth Vader, Dark Vader, I don't know who this is, maybe Chewbacca, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, this is probably like some sort of Mexican restaurant or something, I'm so, I totally don't know you guys, I, I don't, I don't get the, the reference. I think it's, a, oh maybe he's like some sort of ghost racer or something, I don't know. But let's just change his name from Amanda to Robert. It works, and then let's play with our ghost family you guys, and that's... <laughs> That, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> really, really interesting sims, though. All of them are pretty much just clones of each other, just a different gender and all that th all that stuff. I do want to move them in with the goths, and then let's move them in. 
and we are go going to join them with a goth family which is gonna be really really interesting as well because um you know because you know the goths actually live in a very old house that looks like a haunted house so this is gonna be really really interesting you guys seeing the ghost gameplay um with the goth family it's just freaking amazing because the goths are like the biggest sim celebrities like ever yas 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 okay there we go looks like they've successfully moved in of course we have the freaking loading screen yes you guys yay and you guys can see that this this goth family is actually the one that i have in my existing how i mean in the existing lp because you, you can see mortimer here is a teen normally he is just a child but whatever it works okay let us actually see the interactions that we guess with the ghosts so because the ghosts are actually like feeling fine they're not a specific color um, usually they would change color though, so let's make her interact with Mortimer, I guess. Okay, so maybe we can pass through... Ooh. We can pass through freaking Mortimer Goth. BAM! Oh yeah! That would have been freaking creepy though. I, I imagine being a ghost and passing through a sim and like for that freaking split second, you would see their insides. I'm like, no! No! Okay, let's see here. Let's ghost scare him. Ooh. And I'm guessing that they're now like enemies or something. <laughs> oh, they're still not. They're still in the very good um, mood or something. I don't know. And she's just... Oh my god, I'm gonna scare you, dude. Seriously, though. Oh my god, where... Did she just disappear? Oh my god. Holy moly. Holy camole. Anyway, you guys, I'm just... Apparently he's really shocked by that. And of course they can talk about that. And let's see here. There's no ghost tab though, so I'm just yes. She's like, it's miserable here in the afterlife. You know, you you don't have you don't have a taste for food. You don't have to sleep. You see like crazy monsters everywhere. You see things that normal people would normally not see, so like that's probably like what they're talking about um and i guess that's probably it i have to admit you guys that i did see urban sims this overview and ghost as well so um i kind of have an idea on what to expect but the other ghosts you guys can see are freaking like green already yes you guys they're green i'm like yes and let's see here oh yes they do have some interactions with furniture actually so let's have him possess some things over here Okay, what can you interact with? And of course, ghosts have to eat as well. It looks like ghosts have the same needs and motives as your any normal sim and stuff. Ooh, he he has the option to possess that. Yes, of course we are gonna possess that. <gasps> and it's floating. Yes. Oh yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah, I guess that's probably it. It's gonna be really, really creepy though. If you just see that like in the middle of the of the night, like floating by itself. <gasps> it would have been it would be so freaking amazing if they can possess. Yes, they can! Oh my god. Yes, you guys. They can freaking possess the suit of armor. I'm like, whoa! It's gonna be really creepy with some of the items that we have. Um he's like, Yas. Oh yeah. And then I'm wondering what kind of interactions the Sims would get, like oh yeah let's actually um let's take mortimer here and try to interact with our ghost here and see if let's see ask about being dead is what a sim can interact with a ghost from so let's ask him about being dead how does this feel how does death feel of course it doesn't feel like anything i, I doubt it because they don't have like legit you know <laughs> like a nervous system that would i don't know random crap you guys but anyway okay let's actually have one of the ghosts be mad about somebody or something let's actually be mean or romantic actually pick up line and let's see whether or not mortimer will be willing to cheat with his wife oh my god she's angry now oh yell at you guys can see she's like freaking mad and now she's like i hate you mortimer goth I curse you, Mortimer Goth. Jeer at him. Okay, let's... Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys see that? That was like red water. That was literally like red liquid. It kind of... You know, being thrown by a ghost 
kind of want wants me to think that it was a blood, but it was probably more of like wine, aka nectar is what they would call it in The Sims 4. Okay, let's see here. Mischief and Oh, okay, so the ghost things can be found in mischief, yes. And the mean mock outfit. And then chew out, frickin' insult face, rile up, and then rattle provoke. Pretty much all the negative interactions you can have because I want her to be the red ghost and him, he's also angry as well. I do want him to be romantic with someone though. I'm like, yes. Maybe with freaking Belagoth or something. I don't know. Where is he? Mr. Speed Racer, I guess. He, he does look like freaking Speed Racer though, you guys. Anyway, where's Belagoth? Like, seriously, Bella. Bella Goth is always freaking lost. <laughs> I remember the Sims 2 story about her. I would have loved to know what happened to her though. And anyway, let's actually, um, more choices, romance, um, pick up line, and then flirt with her and all that good stuff. Um, and then more choices, romance, and then ask if single, and then more choices, romance, and then let's flirt with her as well. I do want her to turn into pink though, because I think that would be really interesting. Oh, yeah. She's happy now, and I want her to be like, um, yell at and rile up. And then also, um, more choices, mean. Um, ma jeer? What, is, what does jeer mean though? I hope she's like accepting this or something. I don't know. But um Clinton is just doing random crap. Okay, let's see her. Me I actually want to see whether or not he can um what else can go do? I what is that chair though? Why is there like a random chair there? There I'm like, yes, whatever. Um could possess they can possess a fridge, you guys. I'm like, yes. What, what option does he have? Um, I want to see if he can possess like some toys actually for the kids. Um, in The Sims 2, I think ghosts can possess a freaking teddy bear. He can possess the light. That, that's freaking hilarious though. I'm like, yes. And maybe, I'm thinking, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping that we have the option for ghosts to go on woohoo. Or maybe not. I'm not sure though. Ooh. Ooh. It's creepy. Creepy. Uh, and then him. I guess he's done. Let's see here. What does a what interactions does a ghost have with a fellow ghost? I, I'm curious. And they have been here together since like forever now. So she, okay. Ghost scare. Oh, okay. I guess they can have the same interaction with everybody. Um, I guess this. Oh, there's like a reminisce about the. Oh my god, that was so. Oh, it's actually kind of sad. Um friendly oh reminisce about life oh you guys it actually kind of reminds me of like an actual dark side of the ghosts because they are sims that have been unfortunate and have lost their lives so i guess you know oh more choices and i do want somebody to kind of die if that's possible um let's see here let's actually have her Oh my god, let's have Mortimer die. I don't know. I, I would feel really bad if I killed freaking Bella Goth. I think Mortimer has... Is this freaking Mortimer or something? I don't know. Let's have him change. It's it's Mortimer, right? It's Mortimer Goth. I'm not sure. Yep, it's Mortimer Goth and his son is Alexander. I do want him to die, so I'm just going to hit testing sheets really quickly. Mm, she... Oh my god, seriously though. On... And then cheats are enabled, and let's see here, let's actually just pretty much lower all of his needs if that's- It's, it's not possible? No! I can't do it, you guys! I can, literally cannot lower his needs. Um, can we kill him automatically? Um, cheat need, um, enable need decay, of course. Nope. You guys, there's literally like, no, you're not, you're not using a toilet. Actually, I'm just gonna enclose him in like a fence or something. I know that is like the most evil thing to do, you guys. I'm like, yes. I do want to see him die though. I, I don't know. <laughs> and see what happens with a ghost. Um, okay, let's have him stay there and let's go into freaking build spy mode and enclose him inside a fence. I hope he doesn't escape. I freaking hope he doesn't escape though. I don't think he will. There we go. 
<laughs> and maybe we can fast forward through everything and stuff like that. Okay, let's see here. What else do we need to see? Let's just have all the ghosts, like, possess everything. Ooh, these candles, though, are freaking scary. Like, yes, possess them. And then, he ooh, ooh, he's asleep. Oh, and the ghosts need to sleep. That's really weird, but whatever. Um, and I do want him to possess some things as well. I suddenly miss the, um, you guys, I suddenly miss the freaking... Sims 2, um, I mean Sims 3, like, I forgot what it's called. I, f I miss the Sims 3 Ghost Hunter career because I really like that. Never ever finished that career profession I mean, They came with freaking ambitions, but never finished it. We can't, ooh, we can play with the chest thing. We can possess that one thing. I just want to see all the ghosts possess, like, something. Ooh, look at all the things. They're, like, floating and stuff. Ooh. So creepy, you guys, they're like, yas. And there's also like that weird sound, you know, that you usually hear in like freaking ghost documentaries and stuff. Like, I've been hearing some sounds in my ceiling. It's a freaking ghost. I'm like, whoa. Yes, you guys. And how is Mortimer though? Like, did he pee himself or something? Oh my god, Mortimer. I think it's gonna be really, really difficult or something, but to kill him. <laughs> I think it's gonna be impossible, but you know what guys, I think I'm just gonna keep this video short. I really wanted Mortimer to die on us though, but whatever, it kind of works. I, I showed you guys, I'm pretty sure he's gonna have the same options as the ghost as well that we have. So what I'm actually gonna do is keep, keep this video like a <gasps> Woo! tramp thing, yay, yay. Holla! This is actually my first time seeing this thing. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. Anyway, like I was saying, I think I'm just gonna try my best to keep this video as freaking short as possible. I feel like I've shown you guys every option that we have with the ghost, and I hope you guys had fun. So, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna end this video right here. Um, I'll, please like, favorite, and subscribe because it really does help me out a lot. And of course, you all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. This has been an amazing update. You guys should definitely update your game to get all these new features. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm Freezer Buddy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.